I had a pivotal moment where I sat on the train and I thought, what if everything is connected to the theme in a field? I came up with the term master key because mm -hmm. it was really something new I was doing. Yeah. Even though it took another three years before I actually became organized enough to draw charts. Mm -hmm. Now I analyze the parts that make up the whole because mm -hmm. my future self, even after some months, when I return to the same piece is really critical. It always mm -hmm. thinks I was stupid in the past and it doubts everything. I made the maybe the most complicated chart ever in March for number five, six and seven. It is a fold out chart mm -hmm. and shows how the same similar elements are used differently in all three pieces. And this helps me keep the overview too. <music> To me, a Bach piece, when I haven't seen it before, is like a huge number of dots, mm -hmm. like the music. Yeah. And what needs to be done to understand what its purpose is, it is to connect certain dots and leave others unconnected. And then you get a picture of what actually goes on in the piece. Mm -hmm. and at some point in the future, when you're really advanced, you see amazing relationships between the parts mm -hmm. that you hadn't even expected. I just discovered something new in the Art of the Fugue yesterday. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy about it. Wow. <laughs> and that's something that just keeps on continuing to, to develop in that way. Yes. I know I found the right articulation when everything is logical. And mm -hmm. there's no stray note left over that I don't have an explanation for. When I'm done with the master key, every note has a purpose. Mm -hmm. And every note can be put into the set of functions that I've yeah. written down. Because if you think about it, a Bach piece is horribly complicated. It takes me years mm -hmm. to understand right. Understanding meaning that I play it and at the same time I play it, I know everything that's going on. I truly hear all four voices. I really see on four tracks or five or however many voices there are. And how does that help with the voicing then? Because if you can see how these various pieces uh, or these various themes are actually interrelating, I guess that also makes a difference. That's a very good question. You have to have made all the right discoveries and made the master key and have thorough command of all your articulations no mm -hmm. matter how many hundreds there are and once you've done that if you're really lucky and you've done a nice workout and your brain is super ready to focus like laser focus and you're sitting in the dark and you're listening like you haven't heard it before except that you know everything, you know how to do it right, you will find X. Mm -hmm. X is when the master key shows you what the very most fundamental idea of the piece is. 
mm -hmm. and it shows you parts that are related that you haven't seen before and you probably would never have seen it without the master key. Mm -hmm. And then voicing becomes easy. And all of a sudden, something else happens. The piece seems much shorter even to you mm -hmm. because all the time you're bringing out this awesome stuff. Yeah, You're not just going from one theme entrance to the next mm -hmm. because the theme basically in all of the pieces is more of an accessory than the purpose. The purpose is what the other voices do in response to the theme. Most of the time, the exciting stuff happens in the counterpoint. Mm -hmm. 